know, whether the Ross was he doing that, look at this, goes on the springboard, it's a, it's a take out the ladders and prevent anyone from coming up them for whatever reason. But I guess I'll have to Wolf to come back here. Now he's going to have to go after Ross. But oh my god, look at that, it's throwing on that, that fall away slam. Come on, asshole, adding insult to injury that's going to suck it. That the real crotch chop there to Ross. And it's like riding on the line this match here, folks. And then going to work the fisticuff specialist. You know, because a huge opportunity for him here in this match. And Luke Fowler, I mean, we originally thought to be Filmo. But during his entrance, Luke Fowler came out and attacked Filmo from behind. Caught him in, uh, incapacitated. Look at this. Now the Gucci Wolf doesn't mind fear. And now Luke Fowler on the receding end of that vicious onslaught of, of punches and kicks there. And now Lord Magma in the middle of the ring. Grabbing that briefcase once again. Look at like Gucci Wolf. He's going to... Go up there and on the ladder here. Look at these two men on the top of the 15 feet in the air here. Like Coach Wolf trying to grab that briefcase. And it looks like as a, to no avail, he falls off the ladder. Just could not get a grip on it. The briefcase was swinging left and right. Two furious in that momentum stopped. Oh, wait, what is Lord Magma doing? The rules here. Oh my god, Suplex of 15 feet high in the air. This is going to get a perfect positioning for Lord Magma here, but Gunta Wolf is trying to chase him down. Whoever gets the briefcase here first will be in prime position to grab it. Wait a minute, Gunta Wolf is rock. Oh my, don't do this. Lord Magma, you're right to Ross. No! My God, Gunta Wolf just landed on Ross. River Mitchell from 15 feet high. Oh my God, that's two super from the time. No, Luke Fowler's on the ground. No, no, please. Don't do this a third time. Oh my God. Lord Magma going to town on all three, and it's over, folks. Oh, wait. How, how is Ross up here, folks? This is amazing. Look at Ross here. Springboard drop kick knocking the ladder down. I don't know if that helped him or not. And oh, the Ross to River Mitchell with the hops. Trying to pull Lord Magma down. Need to get the briefings and No. Unable to bring it down. And now somehow, Gunter Wolf. Gunter Wolf is up. Now Luke. God, what an incredible onslaught that was. That exhibition by Lord Magma. Oh my god, that's spear out of nowhere! Good to Wolf's head cracked on the edge of the ladder! Hope he's okay, might be concussed in there. And back to the double teamwork on the Lord Magma. See, that's what happens when you allow Lord Magma to go to town. And that's why you need to double teamwork this big man. Boys, men. Look at the fire! Kick on the top of the bone. I don't know what the Luke Fowler calls that maneuver. The only one that you that does it. But like I said earlier, folks, Luke Fowler is not even skilled to be in this match here. After he took out Filmo up before the match started, and basically took his place in this match. And that's a huge away. Look at this. Lord Magma with the Wolf. A double choke slam on the Luke Fowler. Man, just think, folks. I mean. But that could have been Phil on the receiving end of that double choke slam. I think that's what Luke did earlier here tonight. Now Lord Magnon Ross going to that. Ross not really underneath the, underneath the briefcase. Oh, get the suplex. Now Ross getting look at this. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, my God. Well, Ross Mitchell looking at the back of his head. At the top of the ladder on the, on the mat there. That's got to be it. That's got to be it for Ross Mitchell there, folks. That's got to be it for Ross. Well, Ross, thanks for coming. You might as well get the, you might as well get the gurney, the ambulance ready to cart another superstar to the local hospital. Cause I don't like the way Ross landed there, folks. We saw you. We clearly saw that his head landed on the end of that ladder. Oh, look at this, Ross. To our surprise, getting up there. We have to find all the odds here. And Ross putting all the stops here. I mean, Ross has never got this opportunity to be probably one more ticket in the big ladder match. Of course, he had to cheat his way by defeating, by defeating, by defeating his own part of Gene Stalin just to get here. And obviously, he started to take exception to that. 
And Luke Fowler, that botched leg drop, I guess, overshot it. And now look at this. Is, with Rossi Mitchell going off, off, the, off the shooting off the ropes of the double, the feet into the face of back and forth to that senton. Uh, man, what a great athleticism by Ross. This is a replay here. This is nice replay. You play with Ross able to get Lord and to hang him up on the second rope here. And, oh my god, he nails it. Oh, wait, wait a minute, folks. Where's Luke Fowler going here? Wait, get, get this replay off. We gotta get to the camera right here. Look at Lord Magma. Oh my god! Lord Magma, did you see that? Lord Magma with a spear running up one ladder and spearing Luke Fowler off the next on the outside floor, matrixing like him through the air. Oh my god, look at that! Amazing here, folks. Have you ever seen that in your life? And now back in the ring here during that replay, Lord Magma is able to pull Luke Fowler's prone body back in the ring and deliver this. Oh! oh my god, Luke Fowler is done for. He is dead, folks. And he has to get after after getting spit up a type of lot onto the outside and then getting a lot with arm again. And look at that Ross! Power bombed by Guto Wolf on that ladder that was set on top of the middle turnbuckle in the corner there. My god, these guys are definitely getting innovative on in the way they can use a ladder as a weapon and the way they can use a ladder to enhan enhance their offense. I mean, we just saw, we just saw that freaking feat of amazing boy, Luke, or uh, Luke, you know, Lord Magwood instead of Luke Fowler. My goodness, that's definitely gonna be a highlight, 2010 highlight reel for sure. But Ross. You no, know, you no, know, positioning that ladder here. And look at this. You now Lord Magma looks like you can go up top here. So far, Lord Magma is like a king of the mountain this match here. He's been having the, he's the most time on top of the ladder thus far of all three of these men. And now Luke Fowler managed to get up after all that, after that, that beat that he, did, that he took after that, you know, after that, got him speared off the lot, off the ladder to the outside and the last one on again find some way to still get to stay alive here and look at this Lord Magnus just inches away from that briefcase where Ross you know stopped him in his tracks don't know how to think of the, the will the heart and the desire Luke Fowler able to come back from that spear I mean Luke Fowler has always been the one you know, get the his pandemonium moment and that's what you saw there, folks. I mean, he wants to win this match so he can go on to Pandemonium and have a shot at that again. Just like what happened last year, folks. Please remind us all, Rock Dog. Yeah, last year was during the Ultimate Urban Underground match for the West Coast Championship. During the match, it looked like I mean, Luke Fowler was, had his rival Mac the Boss positioned on the table on the outside. Then Luke Fowler put we got on top of a ladder inside, we got on top and did a diving moonsault from the top ladder to the outside of the table. That was a 25 moonsault dive. Luke will cost him into it and definitely making his presence felt, making a historically memorable Russell, or to be a pandemonium moment that will be remember, remembered forever. And Luke Far finally taking that pandemonium moment and definitely he's going to want to you know, make history once again next or this year at pandemonium. But in order to do it, he's going to win this ladder match here, get that one-way ticket briefcase, that contract that's, to, that's suspended, you know, 15, 15, 20 feet above the ring here. Into Wolf trying to position the ladder somewhere. I don't really know what he's thinking. It's not in the middle of the ring. He's going to have to leap in order to get that briefcase. You saw that German suplex and then Ross here with Lord Magma working on the outside. He has that ring belt, cracking it over the school Lord Magma. I don't know if this is where Ross needs, needs to be. These two on the outside. See, you see Lord Magma trying to get back in the ring. Ross not happy. Now Ross got that steel steps here. Oh my God, don't do it. I think they're gonna do it. Then Ross, don't do it. My God, God, just unmercifully destroying Lord Magma here. The steel steps. Oh my God, no way, Lord Magma. Getting busted open there. Now Lord Mangle back up here. Now look at Ross here. Oh my. Got him. He set him up for the not totally missions here. Lord Magma! Outside. Exposing our turnbuckle. Exposing our announce table here. 
Kim and how Ross is preparing against Morton Magwin in this portion of the match here. I mean, this is definitely the opposite of what happened at Swerve to Spare, where the Ross got decimated by Lord Magma, and now the tables have turned right here, trying to love that first fight, and this one might take him in the bank ladder match, as the Ross has the upper hand on the outside, and you can see Luke Fowler and Gucci Wolf, oh look at this, oh the suplex, oh wait, oh my god, did you see what happened folks, Luke Fowler got suplex on the top of, and his back hit that ladder, that was suspended on the middle turnbuckle in the corner there, and Gucci Wolf getting innovative with that suplex, and now an opportunity, and Ross sees what's happening here, he goes inside the ring here, Gucci Wolf has the briefcase, he's grabbing, he's grabbing, oh wait a minute, he's got the briefcase, 